All right, wait for the machine to boot up. And then you'll have this status connected. This is your main page where it shows the sync that you're working with the, with the ISO code, you know, the CNC code. Here's your setback. You can change it or type it in. If you need to grow or shrink the size of the sink for your reveal, you can adjust size. If you have a really big top like this one that you're running in there and you don't get the center line just perfect, you can use the nudge to move the center line shift. Here's your sinks, your sink store. This is your personal library of the things that are most used. American Standard, Kohler. This is this customer is using these sinks. Blanco, Kraus. If there's a sink that you can't find, you can go to the store. And here there's a very big list of sinks that you can download into your machine. If there's a sink in here that you can't find, request template, upload your DXF, and we'll put it in your library. A lot of times you can build a sink. Hey, 16 by 13 with a two inch radius, let's say a two and a half inch radius. create shape or you want to do an elliptical sink or oval you can draw it right on the machine hit save and then it brings it here